Resident Evil has gone a long way from its survival horror roots with the 5th and 6th entries being slanted more towards run and gun combat action. The series has lost touch with what made it great in the first place to broaden its fan appeal at the cost of the expectations of the loyal fans. While the Nintendo 3DS release of Resident Evil Revelations met much praise, did it truly justify it? And is its HD re-release for the consoles worth looking into if you missed it the first time around? The majority of Revelations takes place on the Queen Zenobia, a sprawling luxury cruise liner designed in the 1960s by the famed architect of the Arclay Mansion, George Trevor. The atmosphere is quite similar in most part to that of the Spencer Estate from the original Resident Evil, with its ornate decor and gloomy corridors. Along with a few other characters, you play as Jill in assisting the emergence of power of the BSAA as they fend off the terrorist group Il Veltro and their acts against humanity shortly after the events of Resident Evil 4. The clumsy, convoluted story also includes pacing-breaking segments that put the player on land from time to time from snowy mountains to futuristic office buildings. These portions of the narrative detract from the excellent atmosphere of the rest of the game, and the dialogue of much of the supporting cast is painful. God, more hunters! If you can hear me, get back here now! Had the game kept its focus on survival horror, rather than these out-of-place action pieces, the flow and immersion of the story would have been substantially better. As with the terrific atmosphere of the Zenobia, the music makes a return to form as well providing tense, moody, ambient music throughout most of the game. Revelations was a standout amongst its peers visually when it was originally released on the 3DS. Unfortunately, its port to the big screen wasn't treated with the respect it deserved. While the game doesn't look terrible, it certainly isn't anywhere near the standard Resident Evil 5 or 6 set graphically. Which brings up the price point. Considering the HD re-release of Code Veronica and Resident Evil 4 were both $20, it's perplexing that Capcom would re-release Revelations for $50, which is a higher price than it originally cost on the 3DS. This decision is hard to justify. This version of the cruise liner from Hell does come with a few changes, though. The menus and user interface have been improved to go along with the larger screen size. A new enemy with the underwhelming name Wall Blister has been added and appears to be a mutation mixing the Hunter Betas from Resident Evil 3 along with the Bandersnatches of Code Veronica. They're an interesting enemy but don't add anything significant to the gameplay. Hell Mode has been removed in favor of a reworked Infernal difficulty that will provide a more than rewarding challenge for veteran players. The gameplay in combat is similar to that of the other third-person entries in the series for the most part with a few key differences. You'll have a partner follow you through the duration of the campaign, but for some reason can only be controlled by the AI. The Plagas have been replaced with a more zombie-like enemy, this time manufactured by the T-Abyss virus, an aquatic-based version of the T-Virus. The infected seemingly lose their skeletal structure and take up the appropriate moniker of Ooze. This allows them to travel through vents and drains sneaking up on the player, the occasional boss fights are strong and provide challenging set pieces that can stall progression if not adequately prepared. While files to flesh out the backstory return, the puzzles from the classic games are missing. Seemingly, the only attempt to bring these back into the game would be the door hacking sessions, which rarely require longer than five seconds to solve. A first-person perspective scanning device called Genesis, similar to those seen in Metroid Prime, has been implemented as well rewarding the player for compulsively scanning their environment and enemies with a various assortment of herbs, ammo, or custom weapon parts, creating an interesting yet distracting metagame. The weapons provided complement the usual flair seen in previous titles, with a few options of handguns, shotguns, machine guns, and rifles. The weapons can also be upgraded with various custom parts found throughout the derelict ship, that range from increasing damage, charge-up shots, to auto-reloading and faster fire rate. Despite its weak story, terrible support cast, and immersion-breaking moments, the campaign is one of the stronger experiences in recent Resident Evil games for fans of the originals. Additionally, Revelations has the inclusion of Raid Mode, a vast improvement of the Mercenaries mode of other entries. Up to two players can tackle this addicting mode together providing 20 stages at three difficulties along with a bonus stage. Virtually every challenge tied to an achievement or trophy will unlock additional in-game features as well. 
Each level takes a section of the campaign adding randomized weapons, upgrades, money, and XP. You'll be graded at the end of each stage based on accuracy, time, damage taken, and enemies routed. You'll also be able to earn additional medals for completing a stage at a lower than suggested level, not taking any damage, defeating every enemy, or completing all three at once. In addition to making you stronger, leveling your character up will unlock additional characters, along with new bonuses, store items, and upgrade. Raid mode is a significant feature of the game and can add dozens of hours of cooperative fun, in addition to the 7-hour campaign. Resident Evil Revelations HD is for the most part a return to form for the series, but has more than a few flaws. With its lack of puzzles, extremely corny, unbelievable characters, even for the series standard, out of place action sequences, and an environment that doesn't quite measure up to the mansion or precinct, all keep it from being a truly great game. That and the $50 asking price for a virtually unchanged re-release of a $40 game seems more than a bit unreasonable. The campaign brings some of the atmosphere back that the originals once soaked in, and the additional raid mode could almost be a standalone title. Revelations is a great entry to a series that desperately needs to be brought back to what made it great in the first place. While at times it stumbles, it does still manage to be a step in the right direction.